Hey everybody, welcome back to State of Tech. This is James here with another iPhone 5C quick tip for you. I'm going to show you how to use AirDrop. So right here we have two iPhones. We have an iPhone 5S and an iPhone 5C. Now AirDrop will work in the manner that we can beam photos or even web pages or anything like that over to one device to the other. So we're going to pull up Notification Center on both devices. Go ahead and swipe up from the bottom of the screen. And now we'll bring up Notification Center. You see in the bottom corner of each device we have AirDrop, so we're going to go ahead and turn that on. Now if this person were in our contacts list, we can just do contacts only and we'll be able to see them. But for this instance, we're going to use everyone just to make sure everyone can see our AirDrop device. Now that AirDrop is on, you see it's white and it lets us know that it's ready for everyone. So we're going to go ahead and hide our notification center. Now, AirDrop uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you see Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both enabled on this device. And this will work even if we weren't already connected to a Wi-Fi network. I could be out in the park and not have Wi-Fi, and I can enable AirDrop, and it's going to create a secure network via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, no matter where I am, whether I'm connected to Wi-Fi or not. So now I'm going to come into like my photo library. We'll come into here. Let's go ahead and select a couple photos. I'll tap Select, and now let's pick these two photos here. And then I'll hit the share button down here in the bottom left hand corner. Once I do that, you see AirDrop is up here in the top menu, and it's going to look for any devices in the area that have AirDrop turned on. Now you see that it's detected my iPhone 5S here to the side. So I'm going to tap on that profile photo here, letting me know that it's my iPhone. I'll tap on that, and it's going to wait for my other device. Now on this iPhone 5S, you see I get this pop-up dialog saying accept. This other iPhone would like to send me a couple photos. I'll tap accept, and it's going to download those photos right to my other device and actually load up whatever they were. So if I was sending my friend a web page, it's going to load up Safari and open up that web page. But being that these were photos that I was sent, I can go ahead and swipe through now, and it's going to open up my photo library and bring me here into the photos. And this is how you're going to use AirDrop on your iPhone 5C.